Oh, hello, you fine people. So this week, we spent some time on Lake Biwa to get some stuff done on the car. Driving up to a river campsite in the Alps. And drive to a Land Cruiser fan meeting, which was one of, one of our highlights so far. Hope you guys enjoy. Hello and welcome. This is Andy, I'm Serena, and together we're Right Foot Travel. Join us in our epic open-ended honeymoon traveling around the world. <laughs> Harvey behind us. So yesterday we arrived in Lake Biwa. Um, we have left Kyoto and we were there for the last seven days. Um, unfortunately, I was sick those seven days, so I've been cooped up in a hotel room trying to recover. Still currently sick. I can't seem to shake off all this sinus crap. Uh, that's kind of fun, not really. Um, so yeah, when we arrived in Lake Bua yesterday, um, before we came here, we uh, decided to try and get our visa extended because uh, we've got seven weeks left, including this week, uh, left in Japan. Unfortunately, we are not able to extend our visa, um, which kind of sucks. So the only way we'll be able to actually get more time here is to fly out for one day and then fly back in for one day. So, and then the 90 days resets for both of us. Um, we decided against that. So what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to stay in Lake Biwa for um, two days. And we've already had um, a very lovely chap come over and say hi. Um, and he was very excited about seeing a high top troopy. It was the first time he seen it. It was a really cute interaction we had. Um, we also met up with a friend um, that I've been chatting with online, Melissa, and uh, met her kids. And she baked us a lovely cake, which we are still eating. <laughs> and uh, we'll be meeting up again with her later today. She's also helped us um, source a sign for the back of our car to change Japan to Australia um, because a lot of people were getting a bit confused uh, with our overall journey. We did put Japan originally on the back of the car because that was the start of the actual overland journey. Um, but when we come down to it, it's well, we actually did start it in Australia by leaving South Australia and going to Melbourne and then going to the ports and yada yada yada. Um, so yeah, so we'll stay here for a couple more days, get some little bits and bobs done on the car and hopefully I can shake off my cold. Then we will head um, north-ish of Tokyo. We've got some couple options in where we might go. Um, and then yeah, see where the rest of the journey takes us and then yeah, in seven weeks time we'll catch a ferry to South Korea and spend six weeks there. And um, once those six weeks are up then we get into Russia. Road safety guys. site for the night. I'm not sure how long we'll stay here for but it's actually really peaceful here. Hello everyone. So uh, we've just left Lake Biwa and we've headed into a country town that I now cannot remember the name of so I'll pin it here 
Um, and it's basically this gorgeous little um, township in the mountains where uh, there's tea growing everywhere, which is very different and really nice to all the rice paddy fields that we're so used to seeing at the moment. So we're going to stay in this campground for the next um, two nights. And uh, then we've been invited to a full drive show uh, for Land Cruises that's near Mount Fuji. Um, so we're really excited to be able to head towards that and uh, also see Mount Fuji again because the last time when we were at the same place we're going to head back to, uh, we had to evacuate because, well not evacuate, sorry, we left uh, because the weather was so bad. And uh, yeah, hopefully I don't die over the next couple of days because of my cold. <laughs> So it's going there, this is a suspension bridge. Let's see how we can get to that one. So there's a footpath this way. And I think there's one down there. Ooh, what's this? Oh, that looks a bit dodgy. Let's do this. <laughs> bit of an adventure. Lucky Japan is a safe country. So I'm sure I won't get murdered. Oh yeah, that seems to do the trick. And I think this is the Ogi River. You can see there lots of that riverbed all along the exposed. Not a sure why. But another thing you have to ask Mr. Google later. This thing is bouncy as fuck. Like that is really bouncy. like after a harvest you can see some new little shoots growing on top then it will get to that stage and then gets to this stage and then they re-harvest all the new shoots of the tea which is really freaking cool it's not done by hand well at least not in this area as far as we know um, it's done by this really cool machine so it reminds me of the time when I was backpacking through Malaysia in the Cameroon Highlands we were full of tea plantations as well right ahead is our campsite and funny story, we thought it was free because it's what some of the comments on Google said, but uh, no. <laughs> $20 eBay special fire pit finally carked it. Last time we went camping and had a little fire, bought myself a new one. So it's not nice nicer quality, worth three to, or four times the price almost. Yeah, and this thing, made in Japan. Slow the thing up and start a fire as we have the nice cold swirl steaks tonight. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> oh, I'm fucking hurt over this cough, man. Oh, just give me some new lungs. Well, yeah. see, now that's a fire. You're welcome. You can make some French toast later. You can. <laughs> so, bush tallies on. You just enjoy that a little bit. And then, you go to bed. So, just a little food shopping here at the Ibaria Fresh Food Market, which should last us the next three days. That's what we got. And because we're in Japan, there's heaps of unnecessary packaging. That's all.
so we are on our way back to um, a campsite that we've stayed at before um, along Mount Fuji. I think it's called Har Har Harano Beach, I think. Um, and we're going to be meeting up with a guy um, that has sent us a message on Instagram. Um, he has a troopie as well, which we have yet to meet someone else with another troopie. So we're super excited about that. And uh, then tomorrow we head to the lake with the... Whoa! Jesus. Oh, did you see those kids? Oh. That was very distracting. Yes. We're leaving Mount Fuji and we've got our first troopie convoy. It took us only to get to Japan. Yeah. <laughs> so cool. Troopy convoys. <laughs> Special lane for lane cruises. You must help me. <laughs> So we've been here for, what is it, four hours since 8 o'clock and it felt like we spoke like a hundred different people already and like I said, it's exhausting because we do like going to photo shows and talk to the people there and they're talking to hundreds of different people, like people like us, no I understand why they're so tired every Sunday when we go there. Hello. And we only be here for like a day. Yeah, it's still fun. But everyone's very interested in the car. Like, everyone's to see the inside of the car and her about a trip. <laughs> For reference purposes. <laughs> Actually insane. It's crazy. So. In the background, you can hear the motorbikes racing. So we will be racing as soon as Harvey on a race course. Yes. Yeah. 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 You always see Max trucks. A land cruiser fly truck. 
<laughs> so cool. <laughs> this has been one of the most memorable days I think we've had since coming here. Like, <laughs> it was amazing. You see that many Land Cruiser people who are passionate about it. We have got so many presents, we don't even know what to do. Yeah, we and we the space. <laughs> met so many people. Everyone was so friendly. It doesn't matter that we can't speak each other's language. We made it work. It was just. It was epic. Yeah, I love it. Yes. I'm glad we changed our plans to go here. Absolutely. Because we were not supposed to go along the east coast again to mm. Tokyo, but we said that. Fuck it, why not? Yeah. It was worth it. It was worth it, yeah, absolutely. This is so cool. Wow. <laughs> yeah. That's a do it, babe. Yeah. yeah. Suck in the gut. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fine. I'm from Germany. Just right. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah, I'm Australian. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I cannot believe we're doing this right now. This is insane. Driving the most slowest car on on a rally track. The slowest car. Yeah.